Hey Libra, it's Suzanne here to do your weekly reading for February 24th through March 1st. All right, so we're starting off with three oracle cards. This deck is this deck here. Whoops. The Goddess Dream Oracle by Wendy Andrew. I, I pulled this out because it felt, you know, it feels like spring is right around the corner. So I thought this deck would be nice to use. And it's very pretty. You're just going to have to excuse my nails. I feel like I have to say something about that because I don't, I don't feel my best when my nails aren't done. I know you probably don't care, but I feel like I have to address it because it just, you know, I had to rip off my acrylics. And for those of you that have acrylics, you know what that is like and what your nails look like after they first come off. And there's just nothing I can do about it. I need to let them breathe for about a week before uh, I can put on another set. All right. Not that you care. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look here. Ooh, that's pretty. We have a bright future. And of course, it's number six. So that's a bright future in love and harmony. And then it says the darkest hour is just before the dawn. Isn't that the truth? And then over here we have, wow, new beginnings. And you know what? This card is 24, which breaks down to a six. So that's a new beginning in love and harmony. And it says, take a fresh look at life. All right, so somebody here it is you know might have just had a little bit of a tower moment somebody might be in a, a little bit of a dark place but right on the verge of you know the light opening up to them you know you can see in this card you know all of these stars around her you know what comes after the tower the star which is your heart's desire which of course coincides with a bright future in love. All right, so somebody's right on the cusp of something really, really good. And then what do we have here? Surrender. I feel like it's surrender is talking to this person. It's like, don't, re, don't resist you know, what might be a struggle right now, kind of, you know, surrender to it. And when you do that, it's like ideas and fresh things and fresh people and, you know, the u universe can come in and align with you and help get you to that star that much quicker. All right, so that's a beautiful start. And we 6-6 six, six here, that is... You know, you can't ask for better than that. That's harmony and love, love and harmony. So let's look at the person that you're watching the video for, Libra. So I won't be surprised if I see the lovers or the six of cups. That wasn't even a shuffle. Let's try that again. Six of cups, lovers, Devil, all right, so let's see what we get. All right, so I'm just warning you guys, today is garbage day, and the dogs absolutely love to bark at the garbage men and the garbage truck, so... Just warning you, that's what the sudden commotion will be if it happens during your reading. If not, it'll be the next reading. <laughs> All right, so this is the Universal Celtic Tarot, and then I'm using for you down here the Triple Goddess deck.
Okay. All right, so let's see. I want to do you first. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this confirms this here. Because you're in a place right now of asking, you know, what's next for me? Or, you know, you're looking back over your life a little bit. Okay, so I just heard that somebody might have gotten fired from a job. Okay, so that could be the, the dark hour, you know, before the dawn. You know, that firing, okay if that applies to you, and it's certainly not for everybody, okay? So don't be scared about that. If it doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply to you. And I feel like if it happened, it already happened, okay? But some people, you know, are absolutely devastated, you know, when they get, you know, fired. And I think everybody goes through that, you know, in the immediate. Um, but remember, Chances are you were being released for something from something that you didn't want to be doing anyway. And if that's the case, then there's a high likelihood that you actually manifested that ending. Okay? Now, it could be this person too. All right, so we have the Four of Swords. <clears throat> this person, I feel like, is doing a lot of... A lot of thinking you know this guy this really interesting character is just kind of lying under the tree um, just in a relaxed state just thinking about again kind of the same thing that you are like what's next what's next in this connection what's next for me in life and then we have, we have the Eight of Cups. What did I tell you? <laughs> Eight of Cups is about walking away or, you know, maybe, again, somebody asked you to walk away. So you might have just lost a job or you might have just lost somebody that was important in, in your life. I don't feel like it was this person, though. I feel like it might have been it might have been somebody else. It might have been a, a friendship breakup, something else besides this person. I don't feel like that has anything to do with this person, strangely. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So this person's energy towards you, I feel like they're thinking a lot about what makes them happy when it comes to you. They're thinking about what they want to give to this connection, how they want to create a new beginning between the two of you, you know, and again, this says taking a fresh look at life. I feel like that's what this person is taking some time out to, to think about. Like, do I want to continue to live my life the way I have been? Do I want to continue being in relationship like I have been? There was something about you that made them very, very happy, you know, and if the two of you haven't fully come together yet, you know, I feel like they're thinking about the potential connection here. All right, so we have the six of wands. So there's our first six. So again, this is just is telling you right what this is saying, bright future. You know, you're trying to, you're thinking about what's next. Suddenly the rug might have been pulled out from under you, but remember, it was all for good, even if it feels dark right now. It's because it puts you into a position to have a brighter future. And Six of Wands is about, you know, victory. But, you know, you might be the center of your universe right now because of some type of loss. All right, so we have the strength card. So this is the card of Leo. So you might be dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign. 
this person might be using, you know, a lot of strength and courage or, you know, this might be somebody that you're actually leaning on during a tough time. And, you know, I feel like this person up here, you know, has feelings for you and while I don't feel like they're taking advantage of a tough time that you're having, you know, I feel like they're using it possibly as an opportunity to get closer to you, you know, because you either have made them very happy in the past, you are somebody that they enjoy giving to, or, you know, you are somebody that, um, that they're giving to right now because you're going through maybe a little bit of a challenging time in your life. You know, and I feel like you could be surrendering to this person. Like you could be making yourself very vulnerable to this person without even knowing it. Four of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. You know, these cards here literally tell the story of this. Okay, it's like, Something went away here. You know, you were thinking about what's next for you, not being able to really figure it out. The rug might have been pulled out from under you. Something is showing up as maybe an unexpected victory. And it very well could be this person up here. Because I feel like they don't think that right now, they may not think that right now is the appropriate time to pursue, pursue romance with you. But it's like they might be, they might like the fact that there is an opportunity to get close to you right now emotionally. Because I feel like you are particularly vulnerable right now. I, again, I don't feel like they're taking advantage. I feel like they just are happy when they're around you. And then, of course, Nine of Cups, bright future, this is, you know, a wish fulfilled. You know, and it's like when you're over here asking what's next for you in your life, it feels like this person might just sneak up on you in a way that, you know, suddenly you realize, oh my gosh, this is my wish fulfilled. You might have some additional time right now to spend with this person. This person could be a neighbor, a colleague, uh, like a family friend, you know, somebody that you may not expect to have these types of feelings for. And again, when you're in this darker place, I feel it's important to surrender and, you know, release the need to try to control, try to justify what happened. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Things worked out the way they were supposed to. Everybody gets fired. And the people that tell you that they haven't been fired, you know what that means? That means that they've probably been in a job for so long, <laughs> you know, um, they're probably, and that's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong, okay? But they're probably somebody that is so afraid of change that they've held themselves back. They've held themselves back. And believe me, you know, stability and longevity, you know, when you continue to grow is a great thing. But stagnant or um, being stagnant for, you know, 10, 15, 20 years in the same type of role, you know, I don't know how much growing that person has been doing, okay, because of fear of the unknown or the fear of something different. So while getting fired is never fun, there is a reason and a purpose to it. You know, that says that you might have spoken up about how you feel about something or you might have, you know, honestly, your passion, your lack of passion for the job might have shown and somebody did you a favor and got you out of it. You know, and if you weren't looking to change jobs, you know, you got to ask yourself how you were spending your day thinking, um, 
you know, how you were thinking while you were at that job. Were you miserable? Did you not want to go there every day? Because believe me, when you think that every day, <laughs> something is going to happen. That's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting that you don't want to be there. So guess what? Someone took care of it for you. And it could have been spirit taking care of it for you through somebody else, which could have been a boss, right? So that's how you have to look at those situations because truthfully, nine times out of 10, super happy employees don't get fired because they're happy <laughs> and they want to be there. But when you get fired, it's generally because you're unhappy about something. All right. Okay, so I don't know why that we went on that tangent. It feels like somebody needed to hear that. So that's what that's just what happened. All right, so let's go into this a little bit deeper. Let's clarify what this person is thinking about. Why you make them happy. And then what they're holding back right now. I feel like out of respect. And then down here, <coughs> excuse me, I want to clarify the Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Four of Swords. All right, so what are they thinking about? Six of Pentacles. That right now, and again, we have another six. We have six of wands, six of pentacles. I'm telling you. Um, you know, this is about ultimately about love and harmony. And you were out of harmony, so something in your life went away. And that's perfectly okay to bring in something that you love. I'm telling you. All right, six of pentacles. This person is thinking, you know, how much do I give to this right now? How much... Am I comfortable taking? I don't want to give too much. I don't want to take too much. This person cares very much what you think of them. And they don't want to come across as taking advantage. Okay? Because they know that you could be in kind of a vulnerable place. King of Pentacles. What makes them happy about you? Four of Wands. They can see a potential long-term connection here. Potentially a traditional marriage. This could be a twin flame type of connection that they're feeling towards you. You know, I feel like you are distracted in some way, a little bit. And that's come up, that, that came up for somebody else. I want to say it might be Aquarius. Four of Pentacles, what are they holding back from you? King of Cups. This is unspoken love. Okay, this person has a lot of love for you. I mean, genuine, heartfelt love where, you know, this isn't, it's funny because <clears throat> it's, it doesn't feel overly romantic yet, but this is romantic love. This person is kind of burying it because of something that you're going through. It's about new beginnings between the two of you, but it's also about new beginnings for you in another way, in your life. Not just relationship, but it's something else. I feel it strongly. Eight of Cups for you is, look at that, Six of Swords. This Eight of Cups, this, this incident, whatever it was, whatever you left or left you, Okay, was about you moving towards a happier place. You know, maybe this all happened because you needed a time out in life to take a break, you know, and to smell the roses a little bit so you can move towards what really makes your heart sing. Nine of Cups clarified by Seven of Swords. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like what this is saying here is what I literally what I just said like you might need to be alone right now in order to 
you know, surrender to the fact of what's going on so you can ultimately move towards your wish fulfilled. I want one more card on that, though. All right, so Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody's aware that you might be spending a lot of time alone. I feel like this person could be aware of that. Um, you know, and this is, this is considered an important message coming into you. And, you know, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to clarify because I feel like, you know, it could be from this person, but it could be, you know, a message that is downloaded to you from spirit. And I feel like that message comes in while you're alone. And the, the time that you spend alone right now, I feel, is important for you, you know, to prepare for bright, a bright future. All right, so let's see. Let's get a message from Spirit to end the reading. So I'm taking the bottom card from each deck. All right, so we have the tower. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like what Spirit is saying here is that, yes, the tower fell, okay? We saw that over here. The tower fell. Something fell apart in your life. But there was a reason for it. It was to show you this new window of opportunity that's like practically right in front of you. And for some of you, it's this person coming into your life as support or this relationship connection between the two of you changing. It allows this person to emotionally connect with you where they wouldn't have had the chance if this tower didn't come down. This is, um, this is very broad. And, you know, I don't typically do too completely different stories in one reading, but I feel like um, it was necessary in this reading for some reason, okay? I feel like that message about being fired for somebody who might be devastated about that or beating themselves up over it should just stop doing that because it's not about that. It's really about you seeing the bright future that you have that you probably couldn't see when you were at that job. All right? All right, Libra, that is what I have for you. And um, I'm going to be doing another round of readings on Friday, and it'll be a topical reading, so it'll be about hidden, um, hidden feelings and intuition. I like doing those. And uh, if you need a personal reading in the meantime, all the information you need is below in the description box. And if you reach out to me, um, you will get a response quickly. All right? All right, that's all for now, and I'll talk to you later in the week. All right, bye-bye.